Hello, everybody, and welcome to ECU Religious Life. Uh, thanks for joining us, either live or watching the recording that ECU is going to send out uh, in the future. And uh, we're so glad you came. We're very excited about this upcoming fall semester. It's going to be a little different uh, than the ones in the past, and y'all are going to be uh, some guinea pigs in a lot of ways. Uh, but we are really excited about figuring out how to do ministry uh, in the midst of all of this chaos. So glad you're here. Glad you joined us. And uh, just wanted to put out there at first, before we get into our programming, uh, that ECU Religious Life is a great community. The people who are campus ministers are so supportive of one another. And we want you to know we're, we're going to give you a little a little pitch for why you should come and check out our ministry, right? That's what we're all gonna do. But uh, it is our heart, our desire uh, for you as students to find a home on campus. And there are a lot of great options. And so uh, our great exhortation for you is uh, to try some ministries, try some groups, uh, and uh, after you've, looked around a little while, pick one and plug in. So um, with that in mind, we, uh, I have one, one announcement. Uh, we have a form that has been created that uh, has a place that you can fill out a little bit of information about yourself and then uh, select a ministry that you would be interested in uh, hearing from. And all of the ministries in ECU Religious Life are uh, are on that form. So please fill that out if you're watching this. Uh, that would be a great help to us. Uh, we posted it in the chat currently. Um, we're also posting it uh, at ecureligiouslife.com uh, on our Facebook page, which you can just search for ECU Religious Life. And uh, hopefully wherever this video is, is posted by ECU, the form will be there as well. So please take the time to fill that out. That would be a great help to us and a great way uh, to get connected. And uh, one other note, we're, we are recording this. So uh, if you, we're gonna ask for questions. If you wanna ask a question, we would love for you to ask a question. Um, but if it's private and you don't want it recorded, um, please reach out to, to us in a way that lets us know that you, you, know, you wanna talk to us privately. We'd love to do that. So with that in mind, let's start. Cool, so we are gonna introduce all of the campus ministers now. So we'll just kind of go down in a line and um, it, campus ministers will introduce themselves, their name, their ministry that they're with, and just um, a little bit about the ministry and then just a fun fact about themselves. Hey everyone, my name is Travis Taylor and I'm the campus minister with Campus Christian Fellowship. and. Our mission is about making disciples on campus who impact the world. Um, so we do that different ways, um, large group, uh, small group, Bible studies, one-on-one -on -one discipleship. Um, and so you can find out more information about us uh, through social media. It's at CCF Pirates um, on Instagram and Twitter. Got Facebook, find us on there too. Um, and so, yeah, we would love for you to come and check us out. And so I, the question that I've been asked to answer uh, is what is an incredibly common thing you've never done? And that's really hard to think about what in the world to do. But as I was thinking and even had to look online, what are common things that I've maybe have never done? And the only thing I could think of is that I have never eaten a Big Mac or a Whopper. I think a lot of people have probably had those and I've never in my life, I've eaten at Burger King and McDonald's, but I've never had a Big Mac or a Whopper. So I guess that's a common thing that I have unfortunately never done. Maybe I can change that in the near future. So, but again, Campus Christian Fellowship, hope to see you this upcoming semester. Hey, my name's Kyle Austin, and my wife and I, we uh, serve with uh, the Ministry Collegians for Christ. And uh, we focus as far as our weekly meetings, uh, kind of a, uh, an atmosphere that encourages discussion and uh, questions. A big focus for our ministry is we want you to know what you believe, why you believe it, and where to find it in the Bible. And so we focus big on community within that. And uh, we're connected to a local church there in the area. Uh, you can get our meeting time and more information about the ministry at cfcgreenville.com. 
And uh, we'd love to have you come and visit and uh, just give us a try, see what we're about. Uh, the question I was supposed to answer was, what weird quirk did you pick up from your parents? And I had to think about that and even ask my wife about that. What do I, what do I mimic that is so weird about my parents? And the first thing my son says, you're just like Nana and the fact that you research everything. Uh, she does a lot of research reviews, want to make sure before she purchases something, it's the right thing. So I can go into Lowe's or another store. I'm on my phone checking the reviews, making sure I can't get a better deal on Amazon or whatever it is. So that would probably be the one quirk that I've picked up. Uh, but again, I'm with Collegiate for Christ, and uh, we're excited about the upcoming year and love for you to check us out. Hey, I'm Charity. Uh, I am the campus minister with Cooperative Baptist Student Fellowship, which is a mouthful. We're the Baptist student group on campus, but you do not have to be Baptist to come and join us. Our uh, kind of tagline and vision is small enough to know your name, but safe enough uh, to have space for your big questions. And so uh, we want to be a part of your growth during college, um, part of the questions that you'll have when you come to college. Uh, and you can find us um, at uh, on Instagram at CBSFECU, and I'll put that uh, in my name up here. Um, my question was, uh, what um, do you highly recommend when you meet people? Um, I recommend a lot of things. I have lots of opinions. Um, I was actually going to say what Tom said in that come to a campus ministry, uh, come to lots of them, check them out, find the right one that's a fit for you, um, and then get plugged in. Um, but I would also maybe just add right now in our current climate, um, wear a mask, wash your hands. That's probably the advice I pass out more than anything else. So look forward to meeting you soon. Hi, my name is Joe Cox. I'm with Covenant ECU. Covenant ECU is an extension of Covenant Church, which is just down the street from uh, the main campus. And uh, we build connections on campus, but we're also trying to build bridges uh, for students into the local church. Uh, we're gonna be offering some opportunities this coming fall, both live and also um, doing things online. Everything's a hybrid, so even if we get kicked off of campuses, we can still connect together. Uh, we were a church of about, you know, some people call us a big church, some people call us a small church. I just think we're a really good church and we love working with students. Um, the, the one question I got asked was, what's the worst advice uh, you've ever been given? And I'd say probably the worst advice that's ever been given to me is uh, always go with your first answer. Um, I am not good on my feet. I have eaten the wrong food. I've gotten in the wrong car. I, I, I dated the wrong girl. Uh, I've, I, I've probably made more bad decisions going with my first choice. So whoever told me to do that, thanks. Appreciate that. Hey, I'm Phil with uh, Pirate Crew or um, ECU Crew. And our vision is we are prayerfully trusting God to reach and equip the ECU students and faculty with the knowledge of the gospel for a lifetime of kingdom growth. And so through our uh, weekly large group meeting, through um, the different community group Bible studies we have um, on College Hill and on West End, um, our hope is that we can create a space for students who are asking questions about um, faith and about uh, God um, and our relationship to one another uh, to have a space to, yeah, see what Jesus has to say. Um, and for those who um, are seeking to grow in community um, and how to um, communicate the gospel to their friends um, and looking for opportunities to take the gospel to um, other parts of our cultures or of, of our country and um, to learn from other cultures, um, we create opportunities for that as well. Um, and so the question that I was asked is, um, what does your perfect breakfast look like? And so for me, I would say it would have to include bacon um, and that it would have to also include grits. Um, so those are, Probably two of my favorite things for breakfast. Cool. Good to see everyone. My name is Father Ian Van Heusen. 
Uh, as you might have guessed, I'm a Catholic priest. We're the Catholic campus ministry here at ECU. Uh, if you've never heard of Catholicism, never encountered it, by all means, stop by. Love to field questions. We have our own little location here. And this coming year, we're going to have mass every weekend. Uh, we'll guarantee that. We're also going to have options. We're going to have outdoor options and live stream options. So we're going to have, and we'll, we'll be putting out content about this. Um, reach out to me, you know, you, my cell phone number, all that's on the, the website, ECU Newman, the Catholic Pirate. Look for the Catholic Pirate logo. It's kind of fun. It's a, it's a pirate holding a cross. So if you see that around campus, we got a little sign over the side. And as a Catholic priest, always got interesting answers to, to questions. The question I got is, what do you buy way more of than most people? Well, vestments is one, but incense. So my sister, sm she didn't smuggle. I'm going to say smuggle just to be sarcastic. But she brought about two pounds of frankincense back from Lebanon. And that stuff, is, it cost her three bucks in Lebanon. Here it's worth about $300. So if you want the hookup on incense, swing by uh, EC Newman. I don't know if I'll give it out. But, I mean, we have tons of frankincense. Um, love to have you come by. You can look out for us. Um, like I said, we're going to be live streaming Mass. We're going to have Bible studies. We're going to be really involved with missions here in our local area. That's an initiative. We have focused missionaries. So we're going to have Bible studies, mission trips, all kinds of things. So check us out. Hey, good afternoon. Um, so my name is Justin Larimore. I'm a campus minister with uh, Every Nation Campus, uh, ENC for short. Um, so we're a campus ministry based out of a local church called GCF. Um, come by and see us. We're only a couple blocks off campus. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, anyways, but at ENC, uh, we really want to see every student empowered to, to love God in community and on mission and to help others do the same. So we're really focused on discipleship um, through small groups and large group meetings uh, once a week. Um, those will be in our church. Um, so you can check out our Instagram page at ECU underscore EC, no, sorry, ENC underscore ECU um, on Instagram. Check us out. We have a lot of good stuff on there. Um, so the question I got was, what tells you the most about a person? Uh, it would either be their handshake or the books on their shelf at their house. Um, either one of those. That's, that's kind of a big tell of uh, what kind of person you're dealing with and what kind of stuff they're into. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm Rob, and this is Liz, and we are with Fuse. Uh, Fuse is a college ministry out of Ignite Church, which is here in uh, Winterville, just outside Greenville. And so we actually um, meet on campus normally, but this next semester we'll be meeting here at the church. Tuesdays at 8 o'clock, where you can gather with about 300 of your other college students who also go to ECU and get plugged into community there. Uh, we also have our small groups that meet throughout the week on campus, uh, and so we would love to get you plugged into those small groups. Uh, also want you to go ahead over to our Instagram page, uh, which is at, at ECU Fuse, so ECU F-U-S-E, uh, where we're actually giving away some AirPods to freshmen coming in for this next year. Uh, so go ahead, enter some of your information in there, and we'd love to connect with you. Uh, the question we were given is, what makes you feel old when you think about it? And for me, it's the fact that the year 2000 was 20 years ago. I remember Y2K, and I remember that whole scare. And so for that to be 20 years ago feels insane to me. Hey, friends. Uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm the campus pastor at uh, Greenville Wesley. Um, we are all about uh, making sure all students know they're beloved. Um, and when we say all students, we mean all students, not just uh, welcome to be part of our community, but uh, welcome to be a part of leading our community. Um, and so that's really what we're, what we're all about these days. So we'd love to have Kim check us out. Uh, the icebreaker that we got was what weird thing do you have uh, nostalgia for? Um, you guys remember bobbleheads? Yeah? Yeah? Huh? Came with a prop. So our campus ministry is named after this guy, John Wesley. And, uh, and if uh, this guy, this weird guy, can be welcome to our campus ministry, anybody can be. So come check us out. Hey, everyone. My name is Becca. Um, I'm on staff with InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. Um, we are an interdenominational um, campus ministry, and our vision is to be a multi-ethnic, grace-filled movement following Jesus to every corner of campus. Um, and so we want to welcome all people, um, and we want to go to the places on campus that other people aren't going to. Um, and so feel free to come check us out. We'd love to meet you. Um, my question is, what do you geek out about? Um, there are a couple of things. I love a good board game, strategy board games especially. You'll become best friends with me if you play a game with me. 
Um, and I also really geek out about good Bible study. Um, I get really frustrated when people don't study the Bible well. And so, yeah, I geek out about studying it well. Uh, hey guys, I'm Dalton. I am with Pirates for Christ. We're another campus ministry. Well, the other campus ministries on this campus. Uh, blessed to have a lot of them. Uh, we are also a campus ministry that's connected to a church. We're about five minutes from campus. Uh, and we, we love being connected with that community as well. Our, uh, our kind of theme has always been uh, connecting students to students and students to Christ. We value that community aspect. And we're a little bit of a smaller kind of well-knit group. We love that, that feeling of being able to say we're a family here. So that's kind of our biggest, uh, our biggest push. Um, my question is, what is the most amazing fact that I know? Um, and I recently uh, found out that octopus, octopi, that's a really hard word to say, um, can fit through any sized um, hole as long as their beaks can fit through. So 600 pound octopus can fit through a tube the size of a quarter. Interesting and amazing. Ah, uh, well, man, I'm still trying to get my head around that. Uh, I'm Tom Hart, uh, and I am a pastor with RUF, which, which stands for Reformed University Fellowship. Slightly easier to roll off the tongue than CBSF, but not much. Um, and uh, RUF exists... Uh, to, to foster a Christ-centered community at ECU, uh, to glorify God, and to bless the campus. And uh, we would love for you to check us out. Uh, we're, like everybody else on Instagram, ruf underscore ECU. Uh, and I was asked, uh, what could you do to spice up a ride on a carousel. And I must admit that many of the things that I thought of involved a risk of death. And uh, that just seemed a little inappropriate. So I figured a little bit safer, though still a little risky and definitely spicy, would be to replace the, uh, the plastic animals with real animals. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm Kelly Lindsay, and I am with U Kirk of East Carolina. And uh, our slogan is a place to believe, a place to belong. We are here uh, also for everyone. Um, uh, the $100,000 question, what does U Kirk mean? U stands for university. Kirk is Scottish for church because Presbyterian Church comes out of Scotland. Uh, so we are through Presbyterian Church USA. Uh, we meet at First Presbyterian Church Greenville, which is near the football stadium on the corner of East Carolina, uh, 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 14th Street and Elm Street. And you can find us online at ukirkec.org. Uh, we have weekly meetings Thursday nights, uh, meal and a program. We'd love to have you. And my question is, what fashion trend would I like to see come back, which is kind of crazy because I'm the least fashionable person I know. I am normally jeans and t-shirt, but I'm going to go with the tweed sport coat with patches on the elbows. Hi, I'm Donna Krauss, and I'm the campus pastor of The Well, which is the Episcopal Lutheran campus ministry here at ECU. And we're a Christ-centered, grace-filled campus ministry that welcomes everyone and anyone. We meet on Thursday evenings at St. Paul's Episcopal Church on 4th Street right across from campus. We always have a home-cooked meal and enjoy discussion, study, or various activities. And we really hope that you will also have an opportunity to check us out. You'll find us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, my question was a challenging one. It was, in my opinion, what is the most amazing animal? And um, I had the good fortune of going to Africa last year, so I saw many of them, but I'm gonna pick the animal I watch daily, and that is the hummingbird. The hummingbird is actually only found in the Western Hemisphere. And what's interesting is it can travel at 30 miles an hour, 
but it also, when it descends, can go up to 60 miles an hour. Its eggs are very small, smaller than a jelly bean. It uh, is only, as I said, found in the Western Hemisphere and travels north and south and often stops at the very same places it's been before. So it's one of many of God's wonderful creations. Awesome. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, we are going to open the floor now for a little bit of Q&A. Um, so go ahead and open the chat. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to type some in there, and then um, I'll read them out loud, and we can kind of answer those for you. Um, but we'll just leave a little space for anyone to ask any questions in the chat that they might have. So our first question, which is the million dollar question, are campus ministries going to be allowed to meet on campus? As far as I know, right now, we are allowed to meet on campus as long as you meet the requirements for whatever room you're meeting in. Um, so let's say like the room requirement is no more than 25 people, as long as you are meeting those requirements. And I believe you have to wear face masks when you're on campus too. Um, that is my understanding what the rules are right now, but that could change at any point in time, so. If anybody knows anything else, feel free to add that in there. Um, yeah, I was talking to um, Chris Chapel today uh, with DC with reservations, and um, he said next week they're going to be going through the rooms and um, seeing the the max capacity for any room is going to be 50 people. Um, it doesn't matter how large that room is, but then also just because it's a 50% capacity, um, just because maybe the room's 20, the automatically think, oh, it's only 10 depending upon how the room size is, it could be reduced. Um, but he said, um, obviously it's ever changing, um, but he would be emailing everyone if we have reservations uh, for rooms and we'll kind of go from there. Um, and they're just trying to figure out things, but yes, face masks are required um, in any space, whether that be in Menon Hall or in the new student center. So um, those are just some things that, that I was told today and. I know that, again, Chris said, it's still very ebb and flow. It could change, and it's very dependent upon who knows what else is going on, too. So, so that's, that's just a little bit that I know. That's great. Thanks, Travis. I do also know that there's not allowed to have, we're not allowed to have tabling on campus this semester, um, which is a challenge because that's often a way we meet new students. Um, so our next question, what's the best way to follow up with any one of us later on um, Tom mentioned this in the beginning, but um, we have a Google form that you can fill out. Um, it's in the chat box. I'll post it again in the chat box here. Um, and it will also be on our website, ecureligiouslife.com. Um, and while you're on that website, you also can see a listing of all the different ministries and the campus ministers and their contact info. So that's another way you can get in contact with us. Um, and we also have a Facebook page. You could just search ECU Religious Life in Facebook and find us that way as well. Um, and then you can find the contact info for whoever you're looking for. Um, and also, since this is be being recorded, you could always watch it back if you want to remember someone's name that you forgot or anything like that, you could always watch it back again. Awesome, any other last minute questions? Going once, going twice. Awesome. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Dalton to close us out. All right. Well, uh, like we said, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we hope that uh, you can uh, join us later on. Please fill out that form uh, that is confirmed, is available on eculigislife.com, also on our Facebook. Uh, and uh, I think we'll probably try to uh, maybe post that on some of our um, social media accounts will probably do that too, spread some of that around as well. Um, but uh, please reach out to us and we'll try to reach out to you as well uh, as we continue on going forward. And we're looking forward to having all of you on campus, especially you new students, and uh, we're really excited to get to know you better. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end us with a, a quick prayer over all of us, and uh, then we will be done. So if you'll join me in prayer. Uh, dear God, thank you so much for this day. Uh, thank you for the many things you have given us, Lord. It is a blessing to be here uh, and a blessing to be able to, to interact with your campus, Lord. And I pray that uh, this coming year would be one filled with, uh, with, with great things, God. And we are uh, 
we're seeing some frustrations from last year, God, and is, is it going to be able to possible? Are we going to be able to make it? And Lord, you're opening up doors. I pray you continue to do that as well. Father, uh, strengthen us all as we continue on uh, just seeking you and seeking our own way as well. Lord, we praise you. In your son, we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys.